Welcome back. The weekend is here, and that means it's time to catch some Friday flicks. Actor Hugh Jackman returns to the big screen today in Eddie the Eagle. It's based on the real life story of the ski jumper who won the hearts of sports fans around the world when he represented the UK at the 1988 Olympics in Calgary. CBS4's Lisa Petrillo sat down with the stars of this heartwarming film. He's an Academy Award nominated, Golden Globe and Tony Award winning performer who can do it all sing, dance, and act. He's Hugh Jackman. And when I sat down to talk to him and his co-star, Taryn Egerton, about their new feel-good movie, Eddie the Eagle, I had to ask. Hugh, I just have to ask you, because I follow you on Instagram as well, and you are everywhere fast. I mean, enjoying life and writing it hard. I mean, do you, do you have pinch me moments on doing everything you love to do with your job, from music to acting to everything? All the time. I mean, you know, from the people I get to work with, I love skiing too. To be shooting for four weeks in, like, the Alps in Germany and Austria, I'm like, uh... I've got to say as well, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've I peruse Hugh's Instagram as well, and it's easy, and I'm sure it, you know, it does look like a very jet set -y lifestyle. I've never known anyone who works as hard as Hugh does. <laughs> you never take it for granted. Britain hasn't had a ski jumper since 1929. Eddie the Eagle is about a real-life British ski jumper named Michael Eddie the Eagle Edwards. He was not a truly gifted athlete at all, but he never stopped believing in himself. You're a disgrace to the sport. Good. Personal. Hugh Jackman is his cynical coach, a former ski jumper himself, who is won over by this unlikely Olympian's pure will. I'm a skier. I grew up skiing. I love the sport, but jumping's another level. Did you jump? Um, the short answer is no. <laughs> uh, no well, I'm not a skier. I'd never skied before in my life. Um, and ski jumping is just the most incredibly specialist, terrifying... Whole other animal. Whole other beast, yeah. Um, so for me, just mastering standing up on a pair of skis was enough of an achievement. As your coach, I think you're crazy. But as your friend, fly. Taron had it much harder because, you know, he wasn't born when Eddie the Edwards, but people around the world at least have that visual of him and remember his antics, and he's still jumping today. He was on set and he was there. Where do you think you're going, young man? The Olympics. Hugh says there's a lesson for everyone in this film. My friend came and saw it, and she's got kids the same age as my kid, and she said, oh, my God, every parent should take their kids to this movie because, spoiler alert, he never won the gold medal. He came last to the Olympics. <laughs> but it kind of shows you don't have to win. You don't have to get the trophy. You don't have to be the best in the world to be a winner. You know, it's, it's the heart. It's the determination and the courage that you show and just the willingness to follow you, your dreams, no matter how kind of crazy they are. Well, the hard work pays off. Eddie the Eagle is out in theaters this week. I'm Lisa Pachillo, CBS 4 News.